Hey guys, Nick here. Uh, today, I know it's been several months since my last video. Uh, most of you probably already know from my community posts why that is. Um, yeah, not promising anything for scheduled in it coming up soon, but something I really did want to bring to you guys. Uh, for those in my Discord, you've probably seen me pinging everyone about this and annoying every yeah most most of you. But I want to talk about Star Citizen. So two free fly events ago, I got into Star Citizen. Uh, I'll quickly explain what a free fly event is. Is basically Star Citizen. You need to buy a game package for. So you pay like anywhere from forty something American to yeah, might be about a hundred to get a game package and a ship. So buys the game and gives you a starter ship. Uh, Star Citizen. I don't exactly know. I'm not an expert. I'm not you know claiming to be one. In certain periods of time, runs free fly events so you can play the game for free and you can fly generally one of the starter ships they'll give you for free that you know week this is a special free fly event because currently it's i think it's what they call the ship showdown so currently for this week we have 16 free ships that you can fly ranging from ground vehicles to starter ships to cargo ships to the most expensive playable ship in the game right now to combat fighters to bombers to medical ships to everything like it gives you a really really cool range of vehicles to try for the weeks so that's why i'm highly recommending everyone if you don't care about star system that's fine but if you have an hour two hours free time you go mm, i might give it a go download the game you get to try it some of the most expensive it's probably i don't want to put exact number on it but one of the ships alone is generally 1500 american to buy it so you get to try that for free for a week until the end of the 22nd so not exactly a week from this video so i'm sorry i'm a few days later sorry about that um one of them several hundred dollar ships that can do the high range space bounty hunter missions um you got the bombers and the combat um fighters those can do them too. So you've got a good range from the beginning to the end game missions, which you can get into, you can get into in a week. You've got that, you know, that'll allow you to get some money. You may be able to buy some armor and buy some ships if you like the game after. And don't have to put, you know, you won't have to put money in. And there's also, uh, with these ships, there's money-making methods. Like um, one of the ships of the 16 is called the Aegis Reclaimer. So the Reclaimer in Star Citizen, there is a, a, a game play called uh, salvaging basically salvaging means you strip all the parts you salvage the parts off a ship you know so if you have a friend you salvage your friendships and you make the money so you know when the game you know isn't on a free fly you have that money there and then you can buy your ships that you want and just work your way up and don't have to really put too much money into the game which is a nice little added bonus um if you do try the game out uh you want to come to this website robert space industries free flight i'm going to post the links down below to what i'm showing you today but you want to come here and you want to click fly for free that see i've already done it but this gives you the 16 ships in your roster instantly so i did this two days ago when i was testing this out i hit the button i loaded the game boom all the ships are in my ship roster what they call the asap terminal it's where you spawn your ships in um so nice and easy just here uh just so i don't want to make this video too long um so most people know me for star trek online most people here know mick stew uh mick stew has done i just don't want to rehash everything that people might have seen from a star trek content creator mick stew if you want to check out more videos about star sin before giving a go has done your know, top starter ships so if you were to buy the game what ones are the best what ones you know he likes his star is star citizen worth playing you know, little like how to set custom resolutions, you know, how to trade in to get your dream ship. If you are using HOTOS and the joysticks, you know, how to, you know, get them working the way you want them and some just like cinematic videos he's done for Star Citizen. So if you want to check out some more videos from a Star Trek Online perspective from someone who's that's their main game is Star Trek Online about Star Citizen. We've got Stew here and just clips about what I like doing in the game. So... I generally like doing a lot of ground content because the ground content is where you'll generally find your armor pieces. So to what you wear, 
So here's a clip from my stream from a few nights ago. It's just a real quick, we're on ground. We're in an underground bunker. These are, these are the mercenary missions. We were trying to gear up our friend Master Dude. It's, he's about probably second or third time playing. Thought we'll get him some money. We'll get him some gun, armor and guns the next time when he plays on his own. Be nice and easy for him, which we can do for more people if you guys uh, do end up playing the game. Just hit us up and we can help you out. So, But just a little clip on what I like doing and just certain bits of combat in the game. I'm, I don't claim to be anywhere near a good player, but this is just what we had, what we were, sorry, what we were doing. Hey, Steven's back where we were. Hello. I can't, I can't see. Dragging in a full screen for you. What? So here, mixed dude, oh, uh, no. No. didn't have his gun loaded, so I had to, no ammo. <laughs> I had to come out and save him. I got you. Oh, thank God for heavy armor. Right? So, nice and easy ground content, but it's a good way of farming your ammo, your med pens, so just things in the game that you need on ground. And I'll just pause real quick. So, on the left there, that's Stu's character. Uh, this is sort of you know, your armor pieces you're wearing. He's got an LMG, a backpack, and that's part of the game. Is It's not just space and like space simulator sort of thing. You do have like a first-person shooter aspect to the game too, which is really cool, which I really like. I got enough to take these guys down as long as my gun fires. So, I won't yeah, let this I play too that. long. Just to, I just want to give everyone a little bit of under, you know, understanding and show what's how the gameplay fire. looks. Please fire. There yeah, I don't know if it's lag, but, but my gun so, is not yep, good. that's this one. And now I'll show you a clip of a bit of dogfighting I was doing. Same again. I'm generally I fly like the tanky ships in the game. Most of you see my tank content in Star Trek Online. So, sorry, guys, so most of you know me from my tank content in the game. So, you know, I'm not a dogfighter or any, but, so, but in this game, you've got your fighters. You've got your sort of exploration, cr sort of cruiser class ships, which are generally what, um, say, McStu, Steven, they fly. And I fly the bigger, more tanky ships. So when we do our content, I'm the sort of target. I go in and go, hey, I'm here. You know, same as I do in Stow. But this is me trying to be a dogfighter. On my stream the other night because one of the free ships is one of the best dog fighters in the game so i thought you, i've got to give it a go and boom i got him down that was probably an uneven matchup the ship i was facing just wasn't yeah, it was a computer, it wasn't uh, an NPC, but it wasn't quite as strong as my ship. My ship has eight guns, that one just doesn't have the shielding and the hull to uh, keep up with it, but shows a bit of a space combat and the cockpits of the F-8C Lightning, which is, uh, this one is a hard ship to obtain, so uh, that's, if you like that one, that's, I don't even own this one normally. But yeah, it's a bit of space combat, and a, it's a, a view over, I think this was over Seraphon, or one of the moons around Seraphim. I'm not exactly sure where I was, but uh, it's not really important right now. So I'm going to pause that. And lastly, I just want to show you the pledge store. So this is not the only way of getting ships, but I wanted to show you just a point on like why this is such a cool event. So we'll come back here. Sorry, we're going to scroll down. So these are the free ships, the 600i, the 890 jump, the C1 Spirit, the Banu Defender, the F7C Hornet, the F8C Lightning, the Fury LZ, I think it's Mirai, the Gladiator, the Anvil Gladiator, the Origin M50, the Crusader Mercury, the Aegis Reclaimer, the Grey Cat STV is one of the ground vehicles, the Gat, is it Gat Ak, uh, Sulin, I don't know how to pronounce that one. It's a starter ship. We have the Anvil Terrapin, the Rob uh, RSI Ursa Medivac. So this is a uh, another ground vehicle. With the cool one about this is it has a med bay in the, the back to heal. The Drake Vulture. This is a salvage ship. Um, it's like the Reclaimer I was mentioning earlier in the video. And back to the 600i. So this is the most expensive ship in the game, the 890 Jump, the most expensive playable ship, sorry. Um, we're going to come over here to the store. This, right now, is $1,045. Normally, I, 
no new as about fifteen hundred, so I think it's gone down. But see here, it's a thousand dollar USD ship that you get to use for free. The reclaimer four hundred forty dollars. So two out of the sixteen ships, you're almost at fifteen hundred dollars American. Yeah, we can try and find a few more. The Gladiator, hundred eighty one. So we're about what, almost you know, probably just about one hundred sixty, a bit over one hundred sixty. The Terrapin, you know, so. The, the Banu Defender, we're almost at, we're probably at 2,000 now. The Mercury Stunner, like 2.3. The C1, 2.4. So it really shows like the value of just yeah, the range and the money price of these ships all combined up is very, very cool event to uh, jump in the game and give it a go. Because not, ma not many games let you try probably 25 to $3,000. Yeah, 2,500 to 3,000 dollars worth of their ships you know stow doesn't say hey here's 30 infinity lockbox ships sure we have the test server you know you've got um triple where you can go you know, and play but we don't have you know event on live for saying hey all those new ships all those ships you like you want to you know you want to get you know here you go try them out we, do, we don't get that so this is really cool um guys i'm going to end it there quickly though before we go, I'll post down below, but if you see my referral code here, guys, if you do end up trying the game, uh, please just keep uh, keep me in mind. Uh, if you, you'll get an extra 5,000 of in-game currency, which is helpful when you start the game to buy a bit of armor and a backpack and a gun, some ammo and you know, some med pens to keep you healed. Um, so 5,000 will help. So keep me in mind for that. And in my Discord, in McStew's Discord, uh, if you need help, if you do give it a go, message in there, p happily ping me, and I'll try and answer whenever I can, if it's Australian time. If it's over here, when I'm asleep, I'll you know, I'll get to it when I wake up. But guys, uh, please, I'd say con you know, consider giving it a go. It's a lot of fun. It's a sandbox. So you gotta, you can be, yeah, you can do whatever you can think of. There's almost no limitation to this. Yeah, like random things like Smixdo and I. We launched a rover out of space into the orbit of a planet and fell all the way to see if we would survive. And we didn't, but just, you know, we could do that because it's not a loading screen. So, yeah, your imagination is the limit of this game. That's a really cool part about it. See you guys next time.